This past Saturday at Collision, Tony Adam Copeland made the first defense of his TNT Championship, the return of the Coke Open. And how about the shocking, the shocking teacher versus student matchup that we had with Matt Cardona showing up. My God. All right, now let's seat the floor to the TNT champion, the rated R superstar himself. I see you, I see you. So, uh... Whoa. So I came out here to talk to y'all. I didn't bring my TNT championship. I came out here as Adam to talk to all of you. Everybody having fun? Good, that's what I like to hear, and I came out here to have some more fun. But first, I just want to talk about something. You know, there's been a lot of negative... Feedback is the word. A lot negative of feedback. feedback. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Live TV, baby. But listen, there's been a lot of negative BS that has been spewed this week, right? There has. Screw that. I want to talk about positives. And if you're a fan of pro wrestling, man, it is a great time to be a fan of pro wrestling. There is a whole lot of positives right now. If you're sitting here, if you're watching at home, hell, if you can feel compelled to go on social media, even if it's just to complain about pro wrestling, you're a fan of pro wrestling. I am a fan of pro wrestling. You know, I grew up, I watched WWF. No, that's not a reason to boo, man. You're missing the point on this. This is to celebrate all of it. I watched NWA. I watched Stampede wrestling out of Calgary. I watched Owen Hart start his career. Pretty damn cool. I watched BC All-Star Wrestling out of Vancouver. I watched International Wrestling out of Montreal, and I devoured it all because I love professional wrestling. And I know you've heard this before, but please bear with me because it's close to my heart. For nine years, I had this torn away from me, torn away from me. And when I finally got it back, I worked to get it back because I love it so damn much. But when I sat down and I started thinking about the end of my career, because let's face it, I'm closer to the end than the start, I realized that AEW is where I need to end my career. And, and a lot of people didn't seem to understand that, but I looked at the roster and I saw a murderer's row of talent. I have been in some of the most phenomenal locker rooms of all time. And I will put that locker room up against anybody. I came here because I can face Will Osprey. I can face Kenny Omega. Hope you're doing good, bud. I can face Hangman. I can face Swerve, Joe, Claudio, Moxley. I, I can face Darby. I, I can face FTR, I can face the Young Bucks, I can face Buddy Matthews, Brody King, and Malachi Black. And by the way, those are all first time ever matches. How crazy is that? That happens in AEW. Now I got a lot of friends in the industry, right? They call me, they go, man, Adam, it looks like you are having a blast out there. Guess what? I am. This isn't hyperbole. This isn't me knocking anywhere else. I have had a phenomenal career. I have fun everywhere I've been, everything I've done, but this is the most fun that I have had in my entire 32-year professional wrestling career. So I celebrate AEW. I celebrate the men who started AEW. So yeah, that means the Bucks, that means Kenny, that means Cody. And that means Tony Khan. 
and that should be celebrated. Those guys are all fans of this, just like me, just like all of you. That ain't a negative, that's not something to make fun of because we love this. AEW has pushed this industry into a better place. AEW has pushed everyone into a better place. It has given more people a chance to do what they love for a living, and that should be celebrated. AEW makes pro wrestling better. AEW makes pro wrestling more fun. And AEW is where the best wrestle. Okay, heart rate's coming back down. I'm calming down. I don't got feedback. We're good. Thank you for, for hearing me out. Sorry I got fired up this week and I had to get that off my chest. I asked for this time out here, so thank you. But now it's time to move forward. AEW is moving forward. AEW is walking into the future. There's a reason Okada came here. There's a reason Mercedes came here. There's a reason Osprey came here. There is a reason I came here. So without further ado, let me introduce to you a man who symbolizes everything that AEW will be going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the aerial assassin, Will Osprey. A very impassioned Adam Copeland kicking off Dynamite, and this past Saturday it was announced that at Dynasty, huge trios match, Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe versus the House of Black Sunday, April 21st, live on pay-per-view. And this man, for the first time ever, Will Ospreay, will go one-on-one -on -one with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, live in St. Louis at Dynasty. Arguably the, uh, the uh, most dynamic pro wrestler in the world today just got in the ring in Osprey. 